Right, I've had to split this video into two parts. The first part is what I recorded, well, what was supposed to be last video, but I decided to split it in half just to make this video be more centered on a certain plot line because it makes more sense that way. So last video was centered more around context and me being an angry fucker, but this video is more focused on the actual plot line. Uh, so enjoy, you're gonna see a very strangely cut video of a very dark room yesterday to now about halfway through probably it doesn't matter but you know enjoy it has been a long time not much really changed has it this room is a mess is as messy as it always has been I also recognize the same stuffed animals on world that she's had for years now if you came over more often it wouldn't be such a mess it's because i end up cleaning it for you Okay, I'm starting to hate her a bit less now. How come you suddenly want to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? That's fucking weird. So I'd already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's, it's fine, then. The thing about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just want to see how you were doing after you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and I accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You haven't enough come here. You wouldn't have even thinking about me right now. But this... It's just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. And that's why the world decided to have you come over today. Just wants to torture me. Sorry. I grabbed sorry by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? You're listening to yourself. I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Sorry gives me an empty smile. You already put me in a trap. But... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. He's just saying it for the first time. Saying what? What are you talking about? You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you? Because I had no choice this time. The thing is, I've had a really bad depression my whole life. Fucking Jesus. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Oh. Oh. Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. No reason to do anything when I fully... When I fully know how worthless I am. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to it? To waste by having them spend it on me. That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Oh, that is really sad. Is it possible that Siri kept information from me the entire time that I've known her? Oh, that is so depressing. I mean, literally, but like... Did you really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed. If I knew I would have done everything I could to support you, even if there's only so much that I could do, I'd have tried a little bit hard to make every day a little better for you. So I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have... You would have to always ever care about me. Instead of doing important things, I don't want to be cared about. This voice is really not helping the situation. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Jesus. <laughs> That's weird. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Okay, this is weird because she's like standing happily and she's laughing happily, but she's saying stuff that's really depressing. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, 
I discovered something else too. Seeing my friends and get close with everyone in the club feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. So I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all. But I don't need to understand. What it takes me to help you stop hurting? That's what I'll do. No, there's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped as if everyone could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sari's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. Jesus Christ, this is so depressing. I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. Jesus. And I came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And so I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayura's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. Make friends with everyone else, that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I won't have it any other way. Sayura isn't hugging me back. The smart man's being wrapped around her. Sayura's arms remain at her side. She starts sobbing next to my ear. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Hi. Sorry, Bandley manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish and you have it, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes to figure out what needs to change, I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Okay, that sounds abusive, but cool. Jesus, I look scary! <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> you didn't realise how fucking weird I look! Because <laughs> I don't have a light, it's just my screen. I don't know. God, the voice doesn't help either. I don't know. Gently, Siri finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. Jesus. Your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. Siri lets me go. And she does so, I let her go as well. This festival is tomorrow. Well, that was depressing. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what I want, I promise. I, I think it would be nice then. Yeah. Sarah wipes her eyes. If I spend the whole day here, I would. All days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If I did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, you want to come along and help out. It'll be fun. To my surprise, Sherry shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? It's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I swear to God, if she fucking kills herself, I'm going to be pissed. Alright, I look forward to it. Say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just, just, I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Yeah, I did not expect her to dress like that. Okay. Take Yuri to my room. Damn, he's got a nice room, man. Fuck. The first thing I, the, th the first thing she does is glance around curiously. She makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. Uh -huh. I cleaned it before you came over, so that's very considerate of you to do. No, I'd be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you're here. 
Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. Would have gladly helped you clean. That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I got Yuri's wrist. But both hands warmly in her lap as if she's making... As if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we... Oh, sorry, should we just start? Uh, yes, um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decoration of other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting. Our, our... I swear to god I can... I swear to god I'm good at English. Aromatherapy candles. Oh wow. I don't need plan on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Though, mainly we'll stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to prove an experience that will leave them. Girl, oh, you're amazing! Just the way you are! Oh yeah, I don't have to explain what happened because you've just seen it. Yay! Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? Yes. You need to dial it back by about 12. No, not at all. Don't lie to her. Don't lie to people. Something that I like about you, actually. Oh, okay. Fair enough. If that's what he's into, that's what he's into. It, is that so? That makes me feel relieved. I'm kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. What are those pants? Like... I've just realised, what the fuck are they? They gotta be leggings, right? Who has... Who wears leggings? And a jumper? I don't know, I don't know fashion that well, to be honest. Or women's fashion. I bought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. I think I have a bit of wheat mix in my tea. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. Ooh, getting a bit romantic, aren't we? Ooh. <clears throat> Sorry, squad fam. I just need to go collect my package. You want to receive this pack? <sighs> it wasn't my parcel. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. Ooh. Very young, uh, spooky. Ooh. Cheeky. <coughs> What's the wooden thing though? Dildo! Sorry, what? What? Who said that? What a strange guy! Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. What makes them essential? This is another thing. What makes essential oils essential? Oh, by the way, no one's pointing a sniper at me, I just have acne. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not at all. Not familiar at all. Yeah, see? This guy gets it. It's one of my favourite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Why does she use such big words? Like, you know you can just say, oh, I like it. It makes the room nice. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. I don't think you can. Well, maybe you can, I don't know, I've never used it. You can feel it permeate through your body. I'm pretty sure, no, I'm 100% sure you can't. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapour begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? I can't smell anything. <laughs> Just jasmine for the event because it pro provides more relaxation. Why would you want a diffuser if it doesn't make you relaxed? It's not defeat the whole point. Like, imagine getting a diffuser and it just starts spewing out like fucking acid and you just go fucking you, sh you turn it on you just go fucking mentally start throwing chairs and shit jasmine enhances your emotions to help you feel them flow through your body well, don't put that around me i stop jerking sometimes I let's just move on from that you feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily was i right is my man gonna start jerking it don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our prompts? Also, why is the, why is saying dirty jokes like sex jokes childish? Why the fuck would a child make sex jokes? Pedo!
I'm not a pedo, and if I was, you'd be safe with tubby little ginger cunt. See, that is a normal smile. Last video, she was smiling like a fucking psychopath. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, have a guess. How about the fucking decoration? Dickhead. I'm going to cut a piece of ribbon to hang them from the door of the classroom. Then we could fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's pretty creative! Wow! Do you know what? Yeah, that is actually quite a good idea. I'll, 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 I'll give them that. You know, I've had a very good morning, so I'm in a very good mood. You are giggles with red cheeks. I can see that. Sorry, I thought I was going to burp. <coughs> Brother, uh. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. You have a bed right there, and you also have a desk. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. What do you mean a different character? Oh yeah, because it's Japanese, isn't it? So he'd be drawing in, he'd be drawing Japanese characters. Yeah, that makes sense. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Oh, that's that's scary. The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver, the silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. I really want a pocket knife. Like I know it sounds stupid. I asked my parents for one. They were just like, no. Wait, why the fuck would we buy you a pocket knife? And I was like, eh, fair enough. Not to do illegal things, just to like open packages and shit. Because of, strangely enough, I use a knife, or I need to use a knife, weirdly a lot in my life. And I'd like to just, you know, have a little, little flicky blade I could carry with me. Not around, I mean like in the house. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. It's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. It, it, well, embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. I bet it's from an anime. How much do I want to bet it's from an anime or a manga or something? You know, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. It's each their own, you know? It's each to their own, I think. Thing is, I'm kind of into knives. That's pretty cool, actually. Fuck it, that's pretty cool. They're just so pretty. Okay, it's getting a bit scary now, actually. Saying I'm into knives is cool. Saying they're pretty is a bit creepy. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe? Okay, can we chill out with the fucking English literature? GCSE, A star, 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 star. Okay, relax. Okay, you're not being graded on the way you speak. Relax, chill out. Jesus Christ. What am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Uh -huh. you laugh. You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. Just... Something's off. Something doesn't look right. I don't know what it is. It's... Oh, sorry. It's... Well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. I'm into knives. Knives are fucking cool. I want a knife. I want a knife so bad. It sounds so ridiculous. I just want a pocket knife. It's all I want. It's all I fucking want. Just a cool one. For little... A little wooden silver handle thing. I don't, I don't need anything fancy. You know, it's just a little one. Just a little, a little one. So no one wants to buy me a knife. Please. Suits me. It's kind of intense. <laughs> I say, trying not to get stabbed. Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? You're relaxing this pressure once again. Would you like to hold it? Really not. Really, really, really not. Sure, I'll check it out. You're a carefully handsome knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Oh god, how much do I want to bet she's a violin player? Sorry. <laughs> Someone told me that joke like a year ago and it is the still the funniest fucking thing to me because we, we ha I used to have a lot of friends that were violinists and <laughs> someone said it to me one day and I thought it was fucking hilarious oh jeez I've just outed a, a few of my friends not my current friends this was like 
I mean, they don't even live in my hometown. I don't know. I don't know why the fuck I care. Like anyone's like anyone's gonna give a shit anyway. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife, my index finger. Ah! Ow! I'm fine. No need to worry. Like she fucking cares anyway. Why did you, why did you do that? Didn't expect it to be that sharp. It's a fucking knife. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. Brother, it's a knife. That's obvious. If someone hands me a knife, I don't go, oh, what's this? It can cut through skin like it's paper. First off, cutting paper is way harder than it fucking looks, okay? Fuck you. It's, it's a lot harder than it looks. I'd rather cut through, like thick, like a thick slab of meat than I would paper. It's a fucking nightmare trying to get the alignment right. Oh no, a small drop of trickles down the side of my finger. He takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. She stares at her nose and noticeably fidgets. If you're schemish, oh, if you're squeamish. I always thought it was screamish. Apparently it's not, apparently it's schemish or squeamish, squeamish. I'll go wash it off now. Not warning, you're gonna put my finger in her mouth. Oh, you dirty cun! Ah, what the fuck? I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Start, I startled, I instinctively pulled my hand back. This is weird. This is getting weird. I don't think I want to play this anymore. Uh, oh, P please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I. Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. Agreed. Please leave. Get out now. Finish this. You can finish this stuff at your house. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sure, it was a little weird and it took me by surprise, but I guess she was just trying to help, right? I think you're overreacting a little. She doesn't lift her head. Why she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Right, you know what? This might be a little stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in the middle. You're supposed to be normal! Did you really just do that? This is disgusting! I don't want to play this! Now we're even. I'd rather be odd! <sighs> this is so weird. You just looks at me like I did something wrong. Uh -huh. I know it'd be a bad idea. It's not for the sweet aroma of the jas jasmine oil. The air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so sweet. Please! Just call him a fucking weirdo and move on! You're so... I thought she said sweet. I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? I don't think I need one actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. Fam. The fuck? Where's she gone? She just left. In your advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips and bring it back to my room. Yuri? Yes? They come and see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. She is a violinist! I fucking called it! Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Gah! Oh shit. Whoops. Sorry. He reveals back and I quickly lift my head hands in surprise. Are you hurt? Wait, what? In surprise he raises his hands so he, so he fucking headbutts her and goes, Oh no, I'm sorry! So it drops as a pain on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. If I come back in this bitch is cutting herself, I'm gonna be pissed. I return to my room and kneel back in front and kneel down back in front of the fuck is going on with her eyes? What the fuck is... 
What the fuck is going on with our eyes? Why are they so f why are they so far this way? Bring him in and down. Also, my hands don't look like that. I don't think anyone's hands look like that. What is it? What am I wearing? Uh, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I don't want to use cold war. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. Fury suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Just for a little longer. Sometimes you just have to not. Sometimes you just have to be like, okay, enough's enough. Let's just stop now. Sometimes you just gotta take what you're given and then not. Because this is fucking weird! Sorry. It feels really nice. <laughs> Keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. Can she look somewhere else? Is it the aroma of the jasmine or give me this dizzy feeling? Um, I fucking hope so. You're gently... Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrists and a tingling sensation through my arm. Why? And suddenly her face seems to me so to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It it's fine. Yay, thank God. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew, yeah, phew, phew. <laughs> phew! You say that like you're glad it's over. I am. I fully am. Once Jerry packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Your fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I can't have said that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, come over. We can go out somewhere. It, I forgot you don't like going out much. I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful. Yuri takes a step close to me and then briefly squeezes my hand. HOLY SHIT! Okay, well they didn't really bump up the resolution for that. They literally just moved her closer. And there's no music. I don't like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? If I don't even get a chance to, as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Ah, oh, shit! Shit! Sayori? Uh, ah! Hi! <laughs> just now we went. <laughs> it's okay, I just stopped by to say hi. It, um, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. What the fuck? Why is it so quiet? Can we get some music in here, please? I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry, but we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course! Sarah Beams. Yeah, yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly in Bash, you're here. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sorry, wave goodbye after her. Say, Yuri, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room. But my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. How close you got to her. It makes me really happy. You have tears in your eyes, you spanner. That you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. She's crying. Tears start to fall down Siri's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way? I'm supposed to be happy for you. What does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? Oh, fuck off. Don't make me do this. It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Don't say that. It's true. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. 
Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica's right about what? What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. Something that makes me happy. Something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side so you don't feel any more pain. But, but, Sorry looks away, but I have no shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared. I'm really scared. What are you scared of? I'm scared that... that I might like you more than you like me. Aww. Oh, that's depressing. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and decided to like you too much. I did this to myself. Oh, this is depressing. Oh, Christ, this is depressing. I like you so much that I want to die. Okay, that's a bit dramatic. That's a bit much. That's how I feel. And, and... That's enough. I don't need to hurt anymore. So my hand down. Sorry, I'm sorry. Gee, I keep doing that. Let me sit up a bit. God damn. I slide my hand down Siri's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Siri nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. That's what I'm going to give you. I swear to God, if they make out, I'm going to be pissed. No! What the fuck? Don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. Oh no, because if I say that, she's going to kill herself. But if I say I love you, then I've got to deal with Yuri. Oh. I know what I want to say. I want to say you'll always be my dearest friend. Or do I? Do I? Is that what I want to say? Oh no, don't make me decide this. It's not fair. It's not fair. I'm gonna flip a coin. There's this trick where if you flip a coin and you're disappointed with the outcome, then you should do the other one. Right, okay. Heads, I love you. Tails, you're my, you'll always be my dearest friend. Heads. Well, I'm gonna go with the bottom one because I don't like that outcome. Because I got heads. You'll always be my dearest friend. Need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promised I'll help get things back to the way they were. I... I see. Siri forced a smile through an incredibly pained expression. Uh, is this what it feels like? To get stabbed in the chest? Jesus cr fucking Christ. I should write a poem about this. Sorry. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. Oh, fuck me, man. Come on. I know you're right. I know this whole thing. whole time there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answers answer I needed to hear. You're also right that I just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realise that now. You really don't do know me better than anyone. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So Sorry small finally breaks. Thank God. Jesus fucking Christ. Could she want him? All of a sudden she suddenly turns around and drops to her knees. Why the fuck is she screaming? Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. What the fuck? That was weird. Siri looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning and running off. I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? No, that was weird. There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I 
keep wondering if I should be doing something more, something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sarah will always be my dearest friend. I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Why is she freaking out? And going all ch shouty and grabbing her head and stuff. How much on a bet she's not here today? I hope you all enjoyed that video as much as I did and did. As much as I did. And I'll see you all later. As always, love you. Goodbye.